Hi everybody, Lori here again. Don't mind me, I'm just going to have a sip of water. I have some candles that I got. I got a past Ipsy one that was on sale that they were doing, or like a thing that they were doing, for you could get like either the December or January bag, and then you get five special items, or mystery items put into it. And then I got my book of the month. Um, I'm going to do all three of these together. I don't want to do four supper videos. So, we'll do the candles first. And though these are from, um, my mind went blank on the name of that place. Corner Folds Candles. I think this was the group, the candle company that was going out of business. And the candles are, um, what's his name? Um, you know, uh, Nikolai. And uh, I forget the girl's name from King of Scars. You know, not Izzy. I mean, not, um, not, why did I say Izzy? Well, not Nina, the other, the girl, the other girl. Anyway, I'll show you guys. Okay, let's grab this one. Then we'll grab the other one. There's, so there's two candles in here, you guys. I'll grab them all. And then there's just, you know, they're cute little, they're things to keep it all protected and stuff. But let's grab this one first. Zoa. Zoe? Zoa? How do you say her name from, from it? Put that. And then it's, um, it says, you are strong enough to survive the fall. Um, can't remember what the scents are. Let, I'll let you guys see first. Ooh, blue. That's really pretty. <coughs> Excuse me, you guys. I'm just, like, getting sick. Can't really tell. It smells like a soap. A sweet soap. I don't know. Maybe some type of fruit. I'm not very good at these kind of things. Like, guessing this scent. It smells good. But it smells like almost like a soap. Got a really nice smell in soap. And then I got Nikolai. Nikolai's monster, actually. Says, the monster is me and I am the monster. Okay, what is it, you guys? Ooh, white. I closed my eyes for a went look this time first. Hmm. That one smells like a... Like a regular clean soap. This one smells like a like a man's body wash. It kind of has like a smoky smell to it. It smells good though. I don't know if I would picture Nikolai smelling like this. Maybe it's monster. <laughs> but yeah, it's really pretty. What do you guys think? You like that? I love it. I like, out of the scents, though, out of the two different ones, I like the, the, the way her smells. It's like, yeah, it's just really like, like a florally scent. Florally? Floral? Floral scent? It smells really good. Like, really, really good. I think I like that. I just like the, the whole, like, I love the purp, the blue and the sparklies. So yeah, that one has to be my favorite. This is probably one of my favorite candle scents that I've gotten in a box. Or in a, you know, what I mean, that I bought. But that's the first one. Then we got the iipsy bag. I got the one for January. Okay. Huh. There's some stuff in here and then there's some stuff down at the bottom. Cool. Cool. Let's see what we got. Okay, close my eyes and grab one. Okay, it's a leave-in conditioner shampoo. Cool. I'm not going to open it up because it's sealed, but yeah, that's what that is. I like that. Leave-in conditioning. Conditioner. Cool beans. Then we got... Um... I'm not sure what this is. I, I tell you guys, even with these glasses, 
Let's see. On your skin, on your skin, use a primer or a glitter adhesive first to attach the particles. Okay. I'm not sure. You guys know I'm not very. You guys know I just started really wearing makeup, so I don't know what a lot of this stuff is. But I guess it's for your face to make it pretty. I mean, smoother or something. I'm not sure. Hmm. Not sure. I'm not good at stuff with this. But the the color is smoky quartz. I don't know. I'm not really sure what this is. No, it's closed up. It's sealed. I'm not really sure. I said it says, um, On your skin, use a primer or glitter adhesive first to attach the particles. With a small, narrow brush, apply pigments over the primped area. Layer it for a more color-saturated effect. Blend it out for a seamless, crystal-infused look. I'm not sure. Let me know, you guys, what this is for. I have no idea. I told you guys I'm new to makeup, so I'm not sure. I mean, is that to put over like your is that supposed to be like a blush or or a, I don't know like I said you guys probably know more than I do okay the last one that's in the bag because there's some stuff in, in there is a face gomedge I'm not sure it's sealed up of course this one says Truffle therapy face foamage is enriched with guaranteed apricot kernel to gently and naturally buff away dry and dull skin. This infernal, how you say it, formula is lotion based, which provides ultra hydration and protects the skin during the something process hmm. it says apply a liberal amount of the truffle therapy face gourmage how is that word over face and neck for two minutes avoid eye area remove with a damp lukewarm face towel and pat dry Follow with truffle therapy toner. Use two to three times per week. Hmm. Cool. Maybe my face will start looking prettier. Okay. Now we got two things in here. We got. I'm really excited about the last thing I got. This is a good bag. Let's see these last two things. This is a eye crayon color pencil. Let me see if we can get it open. It says, Honor. It's a pretty good mystery one. Let's see if we can get it out of here if I can show you it. it does not want to come out. I know. Oh, I want to stay in here forever. I don't want you to use me. Ah. Right? Is that what it's saying to me? I think so. Like a brown, I guess. What it looks like on my skin. There's a swip. Swiss. What do they say? Swap, swip, whatever. Swab, whatever you say. But that's what that looks like. So it's like a brownish color. And yeah, this is what I'm really nice. Look at this. This is really nice. It's nice and soft. This is a 102. It's a firm. I think that says firm. I can't tell if that's an F or a J. 
but I think it's Firma or Foma, Firma 102, but I'm not sure, but look how cute. Look the brush on there. Yeah, I like this. And then my March one was shipped today. So, I'll be getting my March one probably in the next week or so. But look at this. Isn't it cute? I like this. Like, this is worth the whole... This is worth the whole packet. You know, the price. But look at that. I like that. Like, oh my gosh. I like... Like, these two are my favorite. The other ones? I don't know. Because I don't use stuff like that. So, I'm not even sure, like, how I'm going to use... Like, how to use it. But this is nice and big. Nice and soft. And you never can have too many brushes, I think. I think my favorite is definitely this in the... Where... Oh, I put it back in here. And once I try this on, I'll know for sure. But I'm thinking this is going to be another one of my favorite. So, yeah. Now we're going to do the books. You guys can see all the books. The three books I got this month. Because, yes, I did get three. If there's three books, that, I mean, there's books I like, I'm going to get all three. I mean, I mean, why not, right? But I like this, too, the leave-in conditioner. I'm not sure how to use these other two things. This is like a face thing. I understand that. It helps, like, moisture your face, right? It makes it soft and everything. But I'm not sure what that other thing is supposed to be. So, let me know if you guys know what this is supposed to be. It says Crystal Plus Chrome. I just don't know what that is. I've like never heard of it. It says it's vegan, veg I mean vegan. It says no mineral oil, no paraben, something like that. No, ew, do not have to say that word. No gluten and hypoallergenic, which is good because I'm very like breakable. Easy. I break out real easy. So just not sure, you guys. Let me know. I feel so stupid because I don't know what this is. I like that it says that it's not tested on animals. That's a good thing. But yeah, I'm not sure what you're supposed to do with this. So let me know if you guys know. Because I have no idea. I might like it more if I knew what it was. But yeah, this is a, I thought this was good for like 12, 12, 13 bucks. I mean, like I said, the brush alone... If I would have just got the bag and the brush, I would have been happy. Because this is nice. And the bag is cute. It says I-Ipsy on it. Alright. Now we are going to do the fun part. And what this channel is. Books. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is heavy. Look at The books I got this month. I'm trying to do it where you guys don't see it first. And I'll show it to you. The book that I chose and then the add-ons. How we'll do it. I'm trying to do it off camera. Where you guys don't see it all. <laughs> I don't want you guys to see what I... It's just the regular book of the month thing. It just says book of the month. And it says stories matter, many stories matter. Okay, stories matter, many stories matter. Stories have been used to dispose and to... Melang, something like that. But stories can also be used to empower and to human humanize. It's cute. It's just a book a month, of course. Okay, the first thing I got was Daisy Jones and the Sixth. My friend Ashley, Book Babe 88, already read it and she liked it. So she really wanted me to um read it and I'd like downloaded a sample of it before I decided from Amazon and read the sampler and I really liked what I read from the sampler. But it just looks like this. And then like this. But it's supposed to be about Daisy and her band and why they broke up. How they met, why they broke up, things like that. I'm not gonna go into it because I'm sure you you guys heard about it already, but that's what it is. There's nothing like fancy on the inside. I'll show you guys in a minute how they how it's made. They have like like they're interviewing like certain people like they got like that name. I see that down here they got like the name Ellen or whatever that name Aline or something like that. And then they talk 
that person. Let's see. There's Daisy down there, so it tells you. Like how. That's that's basically what it is about why they broke up. How they got together, why they broke up. I heard a lot of good things about this one, but some people didn't like it, so we'll see. But yeah. It's Tether Jenkins Reed, so I figured why not give it a try, right? I love the seven hus seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo, so we shall see about this. I'll show you the last one. I'll show you the last this one last. The next one I got was When the Sky Fell on Splendor Splendor by Emily Henry. This is gonna be uh what is it called? Uh Buzz -a -thon, Buzzword -a -thon. That's their uh the group pick, the group book pick. So that's why I got it. I was going to get it from Amazon, but then they had it here. And it was cheaper with the add-on. So, yeah. And, yeah, I'm not really sure what it's about. I can't remember exactly for sure what it's about, but that's what the color is. And the green. I don't know if I'm going to read. I mean, I'm going to read this one this month. So, I'll just read a little bit what it says. Off Arthur. I whispered. He ignored me, reaching slowly as if in a trance. His fingers spread, the blue tinted light diffusing between them. Art, I hissed, longing to grab his shoulder. Don't! He thrust his hand toward the clouded, the cloudy light as I latched onto him. The last thing I felt was the worn, thin cotton of his t-shirt. The last thing I heard was an earth-shaking crack. Like the world splendid open, like my eardrums, eardrums bursting, my sense of balance and direction coming apart like a piece of fabric being unwound in every direction. Everything, every sound, smell, taste, and sight was lost in a b blinding white, and then I was lost in it too. Da 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 dum. That's what it looks like. It says the Serpent King meets strange things in this lust page turning novel from Emily Henry. Never read a book by her. Author of Love That Split the World and A Million Junes. Almost everyone in the small town of Splendor, Ohio was affected when the local steel mill exploded. If you weren't a casualty of the accident yourself, chances are a loved one was. That's the case for 17-year-old Franny, who five years after the explosion still has to stand by and do nothing as her brother lies in a coma. In the wake of the tragedy, Franny found solace in a group of friends whose experience minored her own, or married her own. The group called themselves The Ordinary, and they spent their free time investigating local ghost stories and legends, filming their exploits from their small following of YouTube fans. It's silly, it's fun, and it keeps them from dwindling on the sadness that surrounds them. Until one evening, when the strange and dangerous thing they filmed isn't fiction. It's a bright light, something massive hurling towards them from the sky. And when it crashes, and the trees, and the, I mean, and the teens go to investigate, everything changes. Da 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 dum. <laughs> Sounds definitely good. Like I'm very, very interested. It's got the little thing and the thing falling coming down. This really looks good. The night of the crash started like most had that summer, with the six of us and one mouth breathing border collie crammed into Remy's clunky Geo Matro, rumbling down old crow. Station Lane. <laughs> this one has 340 pages. This one, which because I forgot to tell you, has oh, they have some like lyrics in the back. So, yeah. If you go with the lyrics and everything, there's Okay, if you go with, the, like, the different book, I mean, like, different uh, music that they talk about, or that they have in here, the lyrics for it, there is 351 pages. If you go just by the story, 
it's 333 pages. That's cool that they got the music in here, the lyric for the music. That is neat. And the last book is this one I'm really excited to get to. Opposite of Always by Justin A. Reynolds. This looks so good. It says, this is a book about two teens who fall in love over cereal, about a boy stuck in a time loop, and the moments that make a life worth rel reliving. That is neat. And look at this cover. It's just the cutest cover. Like, I'm so excited, you guys. But I had to get this one. I love the color scheme here. I, mean, I just love all the blues. There's the color blues. This is like really. Okay. It says Jack Ellison. I guess that's how you say it. King. King of almost. It said he almost made Valid Victorian. He almost made Varsity. He almost got the girl. Until when Jack and Kate meets at a party. Bonding until sunrise over their mutual love of Fruit Loops and their favorite flicks. Jack knows he's falling hard. Soon she's meeting his best friends. Jillian and Franny and Kate wins them over as easily as she did Jack. Jack's curse of almost is finally over. But then the love story is complicated. It is an almost happily ever after. Because Kate dies. Da 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 dum. And their story should end there. Yet Kate's death sends Jack back to the beginning. The moment they first met. And Kate's there again. Beautiful, radiant Kate. Healthy, happy, and charming as ever. Jack isn't sure if he's losing his mind. De mind. Still, if he has a chance to prevent Kate's death, he'll take it. Even if it means believing in time travel. However, Jack will learn that his actions are not without consequences, and when, when dead and when one choice turns deadly from someone for someone close to him, he has to figure out what he's willing to do and let go to save the people he loves. Hmm. Says so from debut debate author Justin A. Reynolds comes a razor sharp, hilarious, and heartfelt novel about the choices we make, the people we choose, and the moment that makes a life worth reliving. Wow, this looks awesome. Sad, but awesome. It says, My face is mashed sideways against the trunk of a police car. When Kate dies for the third time, the box meant to save her life is smashing near my feet. I've learned a few lessons along the way. For instance, don't waste time on clothes. It's cold out, easily sweater weather. I'm short sleeve plaid pajama shorts and a pair of beat up chunks I wear to mow the lawn. The insides are damp and a clump of glasses in my right shoe scratching my toes. But there wasn't time for socks. Socks and weather appropriate attire are a luxury. They take time and I can't waste any. Not tonight, not ever. Because big lessons number one is this. All the time travel in the world can't save the people you love. How to save no one. And the next chapter is called 45 Minutes Earlier. The police are already here. Okay. And this one has... Wow, this is a nice size book. This one has... 449 pages. I am definitely excited about this. Have any of you guys read any of these? Or do any of you guys own them? If you read them, let me know. I like them. This one really has my attention. Really has my attention. This looks like it's going to be really good. Maybe a little sad, but a little good. It's like Groundhog Day, kind of. Because he gets to go back, you know, relive live it day after day. Kind of like thing. But yeah. This one's definitely my favorite. This is the one I'm most excited about. Even though I'm excited about all three. But let me know what you guys' favorite things was. Let me know what you think about the pretty candles. Just in case you want a refresher. This one is Nikolai's. Boy, as soon as you open that up, you can really smell how strong it is. Like, it smells like it has, like, like a smoky smell to it. And hers is more like a floral sweet smell. Which I really like. I like hers. I really love it. It looks like some type of fruit or something. I can't figure it out. But it smells really good. I'm really excited to light this one pretty soon. 
if I decide to light it. Even if I light it, I think after I light it, I'm going to save it. I don't know if I'm going to light Nikolai's just because of the smell. I don't know if it'll give me a headache. But I'm definitely going to keep it because, you know, these two I love. And I think they're going to become a couple. I think so. I think they like each other. So I like them. If they do get together, I would be very happy because they're cute. And I wouldn't have said that when I first met her. I did not like her at all. But I love her now. So, yeah. Okay. That is it for today. Uh, let's see. My book from book, uh, Barnes & Noble uh, shipped. So, I'll be getting that soon. I think they said Saturday. Um, I'll create the supposed to ship starting tomorrow because I saw the label in the system today. So, I'll get that Saturday. Um... My Ipsy one for March ship today. It usually takes like five to seven days to get here. What else? And next week or the beginning of the following week, all the other boxes should be coming. Like Beacon. Uh, uh, what else do I have? I have Beacon come in. I'll create a course, which I already mentioned. Um, I know I have, uh, oh, I have Shelf Love. And, um, Faye Crate for this month. So, still coming. And I got my snack thing. That ships, I think, on the 15th. So, I'll probably have that at the end of the month. So, it usually takes like a week to get here. I think that's it. There might be something else. I know there's another, I mean, I have some other books, like, pre-ordered. Like, I have, um, the next one in the Ice Dragon one that I'm reading. This one. The next one, which is Scorched. Scorch Dragon, I got that pre-ordered. I got um, Elliot Brooks's new book pre-ordered. That will be coming sometime next week. I think it said like next Thursday. Uh, um, I bought something from Book Outlet that will be here. I think it's Book Outlet. Yeah, Book Outlet that will be here probably pretty soon. So I still got a lot of boxes coming in the next couple of weeks. So yeah, let me know what your favorite thing was. Let me know about the books if you if you have any of these books, if you heard of them, what you if you think you would like to read them. Yeah, and if you guys ever see a book that I'm you know showing you and you guys want to buddy read it, let me know. I'm buddy reading. I'm down to read to buddy read with anybody. You know, yeah, just let me know. I'm gonna let you guys all go, and I'm done for the day. Yay! You guys don't have to watch me anymore today. But yes, I will see you guys all next time. Remember, thumbs up if you like the video. Subscribe if you haven't already, especially if you like the contents you see on my channel. And remember to hit the bell icon so you'll know whenever a video of mine is uploaded for you can enjoy it. If you guys ever need anything, just let me know. I am here for you guys. I love you guys all. I appreciate all my followers. I love when you guys comment. I try to get back to you as soon as possible. If you do comment. But I'm going to let you guys go. And I will talk to you guys all later. Lori out for today. Mwah.